Hey everyone, it's Steve from the garden. We're now in the third week of April and I thought we'd do like a little quick garden tour to show you what's going on. The first up is the onions. Now we've had some bad cold and some high winds and the onions have taken kind of a beating. But despite all that, they are still managing to stay growing. Uh, normally at this time of year, they'd probably be at least twice the size they are right now. But with that said, they are growing. And hopefully with like the warmer temperatures we're gonna get this week, and hopefully warmer temperatures coming overall, they should really start taking off. The cold and the wind has not bothered the garlic, so it's continuing to cut bump and it's putting some size on it now. I do have some gaps where cloves didn't, you know, germinate over the winter time, but you know, that's expected. But overall, it's looking pretty good. The fruit trees are now getting very close to getting ready to bud. That was the cherry tree I just showed you there, and this is another cherry tree. So you can see those are getting very close. This is one of the peach trees. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna get a few peaches off this tree this year. So we'll just have to see. On the plus side, with the cold weather, it has delayed this thing flowering. So by the time it does flower, the weather should be warmed up. In the house, I have lettuce I transplanted, and this is doing well. Now this area is more protected than the many low tunnels I have for the onions. So these plants are doing much better overall. I have some carrots that overwintered. I think I'm gonna let those go to the seed. We got the beets from the beets challenge. They haven't really put out much size at all right now, but maybe with the warmer weather, they'll start taking off. And up here, we got some spinach I, I have growing. Now this spinach, I am not gonna thin out. I'm just gonna let it fend for itself. And if they get crowded, they get crowded. On the deck hardening off, I have my broccoli. So the broccoli over here on the right, this is, I think, five weeks old now, maybe. And this one on the left is four. Now I did end up leaving this broccoli out overnight one night where it got down to 28 degrees. And so it did freeze, but it's still pulling through on that. Then we got our celery. So many plants are getting pretty big and these are getting close to the time where I'm gonna put them out into the garden. Over here we have more lettuce that's ready for transplant, along with some marigolds. On the germination station, I got the broccoli going here with the different successions there. We got petunias. I got some spotty germination on that, but that'll be enough plants. And then we got the peas. Now the Oregon sugar pods, those didn't germinate well at all but there's enough out there and then when I plant them in the ground, I can always add more seeds there. For the pepper, basil, and tomatoes, it's these trays here. So these are coming along pretty well. And another tray with the basil. Actually, that pepper right there, that big one, that one needs to be topped. And so the rest of them are looking pretty good. Looks like I might need to add a little bit of nitrogen to give them a little boost because a couple of the leaves are turning yellow. And these are all the extras. So even like some of these extras, like that pepper right there, that needs to be topped too before I give it away. The bulk of the tomatoes are here and they're looking good and then getting some height on them. I'm gonna have to start checking them for suckers. And then we got the uh, water spinach. Now I've done three cuttings on this water spinach already and it's ready for another one. I hope you enjoyed coming on my little tour here. The weather is getting warm. We're not quite where we need to be yet, but we're getting closer. In the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be starting a lot of my flowers, like zinnias and sunflowers, and getting those in the ground, along with, you know, starting things like squash. So until next time, hope you have a good one, and hope you enjoyed and got something out of this.